Alright, today's project, we are taking a nice naval pea coat that uh, we went down to San Diego, California. Um, saw it over at the Goodwill um, down in San Diego, California, down by the, uh, the naval uh, station down there. So this is an actual U.S. Uh, naval coat. Um, beautiful, as you can see here. U.S. Uh, naval Academy. Beautiful on the inside, um, in great condition. Has the guy's name over there, so hopefully you are still living and kicking and you just grew out of your coat. But uh, awesome little um, little things on here, of course, you know the buttons as well. It's, uh, there we go. And um, beautiful, fits me perfectly. I'm about 5'9", and it fits me great. So this guy obviously is about my size. And again, like I said, great condition. Uh, picked it up for I believe uh, ten bucks I think down at the Goodwill in San Diego. There has some pockets right there, you know, for midnight watch. Anyway, um, so I was um, watching a cable channel with uh, De Dehani Jones, the football player, and he tackles the globe. Uh, I was on the Travel Channel when a couple seasons. Um, anyway, he was wearing a coat just like this, but on the back collar here. See how it has a little. It's probably for a raincoat thing there. But on the back collar here, he has a Burberry one with the Burberry print right here. And it was gorgeous. And so, I was at a different Goodwill. And let me show you what I got here. We got some Gucci print. So, um, obviously this is not real Gucci because the name brand of it is Synergy. But... I picked these up for five bucks, and obviously I'm not going to wear nasty Gucci shorts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some good old scissors to these, cut the fabric, and I'm going to stitch that on the back right here to make it look like Gucci. Um, I would with Burberry, but I sold all my real Burberry uh, print, so unfortunately I don't have any more. But I have Gucci, so I'm going to um, cut it perfectly. And I'm going to stitch that because fabric glue is not going to be able to hold too well. So I'm going to stitch that right there and I will show you the end product after I'm done. Alright, now this process is a little bit tricky, but see how I folded it in here? And so it sits flat on the back right there. Now obviously if you have a legitimate sewing machine, you stitch a line like this all the way down. This is a little bit rough right here. This is a hand stitch but again you can barely tell because it's black on black um, if someone inspects your coat you know like right up in the, you know your eyeball like this of course you're gonna be like hey man what's going on with that hand stitch but um, anyway like I said this is the uh, cheaper route to go good good sewing machine because this is very thick wool so you need a uh, real thick needle unfortunately I don't have one so I'm using a uh, I believe this is a uh, five tenths um, just black string and uh, of course you know some pins to hold it in place while I'm going around the edges here and I'll show you what the uh, end result looks like use these as well because your fingers are gonna get uh, pretty beat up trying to poke it through so guard yourself with some symbols and these little things here so again I'm not a professional at all or anything like that but I got my little sew kit here got a little if you mess up you can pluck them out redo them and uh, your little scissors your thread and have just have a good time with it all right now we're going to show you guys the finished product of my nice pea coat what we're going to do this is with the collar down this is the back side but then once it pops up we're going to pop that gucci collar check that out huh side Decide. Not too bad for 15 bucks. Alright, keep watching my videos, guys. Thanks a lot.